Hey guys, it's Ellie Hart from TC Helicon, and I just wanted to let you know that we have a new firmware update for our Mic Mechanics Stomp Box, and it's awesome. So historically with this pedal, when you have your foot switch triggered, it triggers both reverb and delay. So let me, let me uh, demo that for you here. Oh. When I turn it off, oh. totally dry vocal. So with our update, all you have to do is go do that firmware update, come back, you're gonna hold down this tone button while you're powering on. All right, and now watch this. So I've got my uh, foot switch triggered off. You should be able to hear a beautiful reverb. Oh. And you do, and no delay. As soon as you've triggered that foot switch, oh. now you've got your delay. So they're no longer coupled together. We've separated them for you. So reverb is on a constant state and uh, delay is triggered with that foot switch. The second thing we've done is historically the tap tempo has timed out. So now all you have to do is hold that down for a few seconds and now this light is flashing. You're gonna set your delay tempo and it's going to stay flashing. It's not gonna time out on you anymore. Uh, when you no longer want to see that flashing light, all you do is hold that down again for a couple of seconds and you are back to having uh, your nice solid um, LED so that you know that your delay is triggered. Okay, so there we go. Uh, if you've decided that you don't want that coupling to be uh, triggered uh, separately anymore, you want them to be back again. Sorry, let me say that again. If you've decided that you want your reverb and your delay back together, triggered together with this foot switch. You don't want them separate and the reverb in the solid state. Really easy, all you do, turn off your device, hold down that tone button again, power back up, hold it down until it's all the way back on. And now we've got a nice dry vocal again, and now we've got delay and reverb together. Right? What a great update, really excited about that. So don't forget to uh, download that firmware update software. We call it Voice Support 2. It's available at the link in the description below. I'll also include a video down there uh, that shows you how to do a firmware update, okay? So hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, please like the video if you did. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments field below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you won't miss out on any videos that we're putting out.